So, in the previous video, using Solver in Linast, we worked out the values of the A and B coefficient, where we, we assumed, or we, um, as our starting point, we took uh, Y to be a product of X. In other words, Y was a function of X, where Y could be described as uh, equal to a constant plus B times X. Uh, to verify these results, we could use uh, an alternative uh, software, um, a leading econometric statistical software uh, used heavily in industry and in academia is R and R Studio. So um, we'll try to implement uh, an estimation, a linear estimation, linear regression estimation in R. Um, so uh, starting point would be here we would have to create a data set so we'll copy and uh, we'll create a new file or a new Excel so file new a new spreadsheet and we'll paste the value so paste special and we put in values and we have an X and a Y as before. And we can save this file, save as, and typically um, we'll say simple regression. So we'll give the file a name, simple regression. And we would use CSV. So we want to uh, find um, um, Microsoft, uh, so there's two choices here, one for Macintosh and one for uh, Microsoft DOS. So we'll take, the, because we're using an Office product and we're working Windows, we'll use CSV MS-DOS. And we'll save that. And we'll place. Okay, so we've changed the form um, of uh, our spreadsheet to be to be to have a CSV extension as opposed to just plain uh, XLS okay so that's saved uh, we'll close that down and uh, then we go in, into R so R studio R studio uh, provides us with a much more Windows based type uh, estimation interface. There's also R. We're going to use R Studio. And we want to create a new uh, a new file. And we're going to use uh, R Script. And um, I already have uh, some script available for estimation of um, for running a linear regression an ordinary least squares regression so and that's in my Dropbox under simple linear regression so I'll open that and I downloaded code originally for um, an estimation set up by Annie Kachova uh, she has um, on her YouTube page, she has an econometrics economy, uh, academy, in fact. So I'm not sure why I wrote that. Econometrics academy, and um, on that there is a very replete set of video um, uh, tutorials, um, and to, f to get to that page, just follow the link. Um, so. I will take that code, it's just basic code, and I amended her original code um, just to um, take into account that I don't have as many variables. So I'll just put that to one side, and that to one side, and I will paste. Now, um, let's just redimension this a little bit so that we have a reasonable view of the code. Now, um, if I run this data, if I run the code that's here at the moment, 
um, let's say, so first of all, let's just save this uh, file. So save as, and I'll use the system default. And Dropbox and linear regression. And I'll save here. So again, I'll call it simple regression. And it's our script. So save. So save. Okay. Now, um, uh, if I try to run uh, this existing, it won't be able to find the. It won't be able to read in the data. So I must find an address of that the the uh, the CSV file and. It's this simple regression file. So let's see if we can get uh, properties. And then on the properties, uh, we get some. Okay, so C user Dropbox linear regression. And we just copy that and click OK and come back and write. Okay, just load. Just set this up, so paste that in, paste in the address. Okay, now um, a feature here of uh, reading in this um, backstroke and forward stroke is that uh, when I copy the address like that, I have to change. Well, first of all, we can get rid of, let's just get rid of, let's change that to be forward stroke. And this changes as well. And change this also and again and I seem to have missed one here okay so that's forward stroke that's the first okay so let's just see does this run okay run and the uh, file wasn't attached so try without the C one more time and run and I think it may be this two here that's causing a problem linear regression CSV of course I forgot the name so let's leave the two back where it was and uh, linear regression so that's the folder but I didn't put in the name of the file and the name of the file was simple and go regression And let's just extend this over a little bit so we can view. Okay, and try this. Run my data. Okay, and run again. Attached. And so uh, the date has appeared. So I have the minimum and the maximum values. And correlation. Now we can just to verify that the data is consistent with the spreadsheet let's just have a look at my data for a moment and yes that's the same as I have Y I have X and if we go back uh, 7.5 14 23.25 let's take this down 23.25 and so on 53 point last one here 53.25 just check um, other one, 53.25. Okay, so this is the data that's 2 and 17. It's the same data set, 2 and 17. Okay, so go back to our R. And, okay, correlation, we can run that. So, you, let's bring this over just a little bit. Redimension. And run and plot. And of course, we have a this is a plot of the y against the x's, and then we can uh, we can demonstrate something similar in Excel. We can run okay, we want to now run the regression and get the regression output. Okay, OLS will then will call this regression output OLS REG1. And the uh, 
function name for running the regression in uh, R is LM. This is a linear regression, linear ordinary least squares regression where y is the dependent variable and x is the independent variable. Okay, so we run summary. Um, and okay, let's just take that information as given and three dimension a little bit. And uh, what do we have? Okay, let's take let's take the coefficients and the significance levels. We'll copy that. We'll go back into our spreadsheet. Go back into our spreadsheet which is here and we'll paste. So we have linear estimation here and we we'll get the R output, just write the R output, which is beside. And paste. And what can we see? Um, we'll just bring it over slightly. Comparing like against like. Uh, let's take this and just paste here for convenience and let's squeeze a little bit and make this a little bit bigger. Okay, so what we have is the intercept is estimated to be 1.70205. The standard error was estimated to be 0555, sorry, 055594, and the t value. We can work the t values here. t values equal to the coefficients divided by the standard error. Um, it's 57.04, that's consistent. Uh, 3.061, that's consistent, so this is the t-stats. What about r-squared? Let's just insert tiny column, and we can straighten out afterwards. This is our r-value here. Um, we can go back into our r-output to see if we can find um, the R squared. So R squared uh, nine nine eight five adjusted R squared nine nine eight two. Okay, let's just copy this for a moment. Copy. Go back into our spreadsheet and we can paste underneath. And we can compare okay nine nine eight four. Uh, 6, so with rounding is consistent with this one here. Um, so that's R, R squared. We have the coefficients. We have uh, the, the standard error. Um, okay, uh, F statistic. 3253, 3254 with drownings, 3254, um, 5 degrees of freedom. Um, okay, so uh, the R, uh, R Studio is providing us with the same coefficient estimates. Um, and um, I'll put, so I'll save this file to the one. OneDrive where it can be accessed and I'll save the R code uh, and the data CSV file as well um, so that you can access later.